Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of the player career mode and today we got some new stuff for you today and right off the bat obviously here we have the grand entrance of our move to Bayer Leverkusen and uh, yeah it's gonna be a memorable uh, memorable season obviously because uh, we find out that we actually have some Champions League football and uh, that's a big plus for us, a big bonus. It's one of the reasons why I decided to sign for these guys. And uh, it turns out we signed Nick Pope, uh, probably one of the most OP uh, goalkeepers in FIFA of this year. Uh, probably more in the early stages, but in career mode, I feel like he might be a good, uh, a good player to have bought in net because we do have Fradecki still in the club. Other than that, there's not much else for the goalkeeper positions. And uh, here we actually got a contract offer from Liverpool, but uh, I rejected it immediately upon some big considerations because, you know, we literally just got here in Germany. We haven't played a match. There was no preseason for us, um, which I don't know why there was no preseason for us. You know, I feel like we should have gotten some some form of practice or anything even a even a friendly would have been uh sufficient but we don't we don't get one and uh yeah we move on to uh august 11th where we actually get our debut uh match in the bundesliga so here we go The fans have waited and wondered, would it happen? Now it has happened. Now it's all about his debut. And you saw there uh, Mats Hummels with another signing that Bayer did. Uh, I was kind of mad a little bit because it's my career mode and I feel like I was a fresh new signing and I should have been the one that got that. Uh, opening cutscene but Matt's almost got it I guess because he has a lot more experience uh, hope you're making a great save uh, but yeah we we start off with an own goal inside the 20th inside 20 minutes uh, which is not great but however we do make it uh, we do make it back inside 30 minutes with a nice drag back finesse and uh, Kevin Trapp can't really do much else in this uh, situation and we do the uh, we do the I think it's called hypnosis uh, celebration it's one of the celebrations I remember uh, Gignac starting to do uh, I don't know who he copied it from but I remember when he started doing it for Tigres and it's kind of one of my favorite celebrations and uh, here we get a nice assist through ball to our teammate who scores for 2-1 and uh, here my teammate tries to do some some wonky cross to me and they've been doing a lot of those crosses and it never works out here I get the ball back I stay on side we score and uh, I seal the win for 3-1 uh, it, it was a very nice uh, introduction to my Leverkusen uh, journey here uh, two goals one assist you know it's a it's a great start i wanted the hat trick uh but sadly that that wasn't uh that wasn't on the cards but you know it's still a sensational uh first start to to uh the bundesliga a great start for for us because uh you'll find out soon uh what happens because uh since this game was in August, and I and uh, like like I usually want to show you guys, I only like to show cups. The only reason I showed this one is because it was the uh, debut. Uh, so, in the month of August, which is the first month here, there actually wasn't uh, any other cups or anything. It was just the three league matches, uh, one against uh, Borussia Dortmund, and I'm pretty sure the other one was against uh, Much and Gladbach and uh, we beat those we beat those uh, we got those wins which is really nice uh, and it's important to get those wins because you know you want to impress uh, first first month here in the Bundesliga and you want to show that uh, there's other teams that wanted your signature and they missed out because of uh, some reason uh, Liverpool missing out on our signature 
because we literally just got here. If it if it was before Leverkusen offered, or before, or I don't know if they if they offered a contract before Leverkusen came knocking, I probably would have accepted because I know that Liverpool don't have anybody else besides like Jota and uh, Firmino, and I have no idea what their current situation is in career mode. And I don't remember the last time they ever uh, signed any striker um, for their team because they rely a lot on Mane, Firmino, and Salah to, to win them everything. Uh, but yeah, there was a contract offer from Liverpool that we rejected. And uh, the league games are done for this month, which is why we are now in the transfer window. And here you see that there's a article about Barcelona wanting to come in for me. And again, I I knew I, I wanted a, a big team to come in, but I was hoping that those contract offers would come in before I showed up to buy a Leverkusen. And they just didn't, and they, they looked out, I guess. A uh, little bit of a ego stroke here uh, with me talking about how Bayer sounds like it would be a better club than uh, Liverpool and Barcelona, but uh, I wanted to go to the biggest club I could in my second season, you know. I literally promoted Stevenage uh, into League One, and I was looking for a contract, and we played in League in League One. We got promotion. I was still looking for a contract, and nobody that I wanted was was at my door and I I remember that one episode where I literally showed like seven contracts back to back with uh, none of the teams really interesting me and now we're getting offers from Barcelona and Liverpool and I just feel like I should have gotten those before uh, before the World Cup you know because I was literally on the list for two whole two straight years and nobody nobody that I wanted came in for me um, you know I literally would have taken a Spurs contract, which is uh, which is something you don't want to do. Um, and right here we got a signing of Gabriel Jesus, who would be a good signing. But I think at that moment when Jesus signed, I kind of regretted uh, rejecting Barcelona because the the way the team is set up for games is kind of wonky. Because I play left forward. And then we have Morata at center striker. Morata at center striker, and then we have Palacios at like right forward, which makes no sense because he's supposed to be a god tier mid uh, center mid. And uh, yeah, right here we pick up the Aucas Player of the Month, which is nice for us, obviously, because we won the the two games against Borussia. Uh, and we and we showed up, and now we are into our first Champions League game. And hopefully it's a good one. This is the night both sets of supporters have been waiting for. Not long now until kickoff on match day one in the Champions League. Who will get off to a positive start with all three points? It's Bayer Leverkusen. They face Olympic Lyonnais, and it's live here on EA TV. Yeah, our first Champions League game is against uh, Lyon, and it's one of the teams that I was kind of waiting to see if they would uh, come knocking on the door for me because uh, it's one of it's one of the French teams I actually like because uh, I've played in in previous career modes, you know. Uh, back in like FIFA 15 and 16, you know, I would uh, put myself on the transfer list, and Lyon would come in, and I would accept straight away, you know, because they were they were they were in the French league, and and PSG are the only other contenders uh, in that league, so I would go there um, in previous previous regions, but uh, we faced them in the first UCL game here, first half, nothing really much happened after that one opportunity they had. I had to call in the keeper to make sure we didn't concede there because uh, this game was as tight as it ever could be. You know, they had a chance there. It hits the bar. Toliso there gets another shot. Uh, and Pope saves it. Here, I got really angry with my teammate because I wanted a simple through ball through the middle and they pass it off to the side. Uh, and I knew that chance was going to be the one to score it and they fluffed the pass for me. 
um, and I literally just didn't want to do anything for them ever again. Uh, at some points, like I literally was like, you know, what? I literally want to leave Vire if they're gonna play this type of football. Uh, but we move on. Uh, we got a draw. We move on to the next match, which is against Manchester. Well, what a special game we have for you tonight in the group stage. Both teams with real ambitions to go far in this competition. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV Live. Yeah, our second match in the UCL. Uh, I, I remember that there's uh, six, uh, six matches that we play in the group stages because I got used to the World Cup. Uh, which is a different format and I was like looking at it um, because we have Fire Nord after this and I was like man I gotta score against Fire Nord or else we go into knockouts without any goals but you know I, I remember there's there's a lot more matches we get to play Lyon again we get to play Manchester again and we play uh, Fire Nord again uh, and here we score our first goal in the Champions League it's a uh, it's a great moment for us. We've waited so long to be able to play in the Champions League. And we finally get our chance and we score against none other than Manchester United. Which is a huge, uh, it's a huge honor for us. It's a huge honor for my career. Uh, as late as it is, you know, it's uh, it's better late than never. Uh, and uh, yeah, they, we had another chance there near the, near the first half. And it hits off the post. And then we get another chance here. I get a nice fake shot. I want to finesse it to the second post, but the shot just goes straight at De Gea. And uh, they get a nice cross here. I don't even know how he gets a header to that, but uh, defender clears it out. Very, very easy for us to uh, stay in the game, you know, because we played Manchester before, but we played it with uh, Stevenage. And uh, here we we definitely were not going to squander our chance to try to beat uh, one of the English giants uh, in European football. And uh, this night was fantastic for us. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't dream of a better start in the Champions League. I know we got a draw in the first one, but getting a brace against Manchester is fantastic for our career. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can repeat this. We can repeat this result in the next time we face them. And, uh, yeah, it was a pretty nice game. A little handshake there with uh, Bruno Fernandes. And uh, we move. We move two goals now. And the on the road to trying to reach Ronaldo's record, which is absolutely insane. Uh, we might never actually reach it, but, you know, it's, it's worth a shot going for it. And uh, yeah, that concludes uh, this this uh, this round, this video. Uh, as you can see, July we had no preseason, nothing to prepare us. And then in August we got the three league uh, games, and we won them. We got the Player of the Month. And with this, we're gonna end off the video. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the career mode, and I'll see you guys in the next video.